What's up? Back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite supplies to use. I highly recommend all of these and they're all like a reasonable price. Except for the Prismacolors are a little pricey, but everything else is affordable. So, subscribe, like, all that. What am I doing with my hands? I don't know. <sighs> I'm tired. Okay, let's get into it. Yo, get into it. Anyways, the first thing I want to show you guys is Prismacolors because I use them all the time. They're my favorite thing to use and they're lifesavers. This is the Prismacolor Premier Pack 150. They're my lifesavers. Like, I used to have Blick colored pencils before that and they were good, but like, this has so many colors and it's just like amazing. Like, it doesn't get better than this. So, I use it on colored pencil drawings. I use it like I put markers on the base and then use colored pencils over it. What else? Oh, if I'm doing like a drawing on black paper, I'll use the white Prismacolor. I actually had to order more white Prismacolor pencils because I literally ran out of my wet Prismacolor color pencil two or three weeks in. <laughs> like, it, like, the white goes like that. Definitely highly recommend like ordering more whites if you can. So now you're gonna see like a really arty slow-mo of the Prismacolors because I think I'm arty and I'm not. I'm really not. Also, I'm gonna put the price right here gonna show up somewhere okay probably not right here it's probably gonna show up somewhere else so I'll like write the price down for all the things that I'm telling you about next up we have a oh, hoo hoo markers anyways I don't use these that much. I use these a good amount, but not super often. I really just got hair all over my eraser. Okay, um, so I don't use these that often, but when it's a colored pencil piece, only colored pencil piece, I only use it for colored pencils, under colored pencil as a base, but when it has like a lot of color that I need to get down, or it's like a big piece that I need to like lay down just like the foundation colors, then I'll use these. You can see my last two videos were tutorials with marker bases. So that kind of piece where it's like one solid color and then you use the colored pencils to kind of get the shading in. They have a solid amount of colors, like not that many, but these were a good price point. Very good. Cheap. They work well. They have two sides. I'll show you this in the slow-mo. They look like this. They have like a number, a letter, a letter than a number. They have the name on it. Don't, I don't really know how you figure out which side is which. There's one side that's like flat and another side that's pointed. I highly recommend these. They work well, they lay on great, and they serve the purpose they need to serve. I would invest in them. 10 out of 10, recommend. I would say this is one of the most important things. Probably next to Prismacolor colored pencil, this is the most important thing. I use this on every single piece. Arguably way too much. Way too much. Like an abnormal amount. I need to learn how to not use it or blend it more or both. Yeah, it's been a problem. I've gotten better, I promise. And you know what, right now I'm gonna show you some before and after. This is before when I was really bad at, at using too much white pen and I didn't blend it at all. This is after when I learned how to blend it and it's still not amazing, but it's more blended and I use less of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually show you what it is. Wait. You already know what it is. So, it's white pen for the white highlights. My art wasn't alive before I had these. Anyways, these are the, I know what these are, I don't know why I'm reading it, but Uniball Signo white pen. I got them on Amazon. They're this much. I got a five pack. The five pack is that much. But I think you can get just one and it's cheaper. I got all of my supplies on Amazon, by the way, because I got all of them during Corona, which is still going on. Hope everyone's safe. Yeah, I got them during quarantine, all of this stuff. So it's all on Amazon. I didn't really get it at a store. Yeah, highly recommend white pen. Even if you can't get Uniball Signal, which in my opinion are the best, find a white pen that you can have because it makes the drawings, it makes a huge difference. Like, a huge difference. Like, you can see the white house on me right now. If I didn't have these, well, maybe you can't because it's not really light. But if I didn't have these, like, I don't think I would seem alive right now, which I'm not. I'm very tired. Okay, so I'm gonna lump a bunch of these together because these are like the most basic materials that I have here. First of all, mechanical pencil. And this is Paper Mate Sharp Writer number two pencil. I got like a huge box, it's on Amazon for school because I use 
mechanical pencils because they're superior but I used to use graphite pencils like the proper artist ones and they just didn't work with me like these are like very thin and light so I can erase it very easily which leads me to my next point did you see that transition I'm a pro this eraser well I have multiple erasers yeah these two erasers but this is probably the best one. It's a kneaded eraser, by the way. I think I got it at Blick, actually, but I'm sure you can get these on Amazon, too. Yeah, you just, like, kind of dab it on to the pencil. I'll insert a clip of me dabbing it on here. You just kind of dab it on, and it works better than a regular eraser because you can just, like, dab, dab, dab. And then this is just a normal eraser that you can get anywhere. Definitely on Amazon. Definitely, like, anywhere you go, you probably get it. And it works wonders because I make a lot of mistakes. A lot. My next basic thing is a ruler. I don't use rulers very much because a lot of my pieces are portrait, they're not like architectural, but I use a ruler to outline, to outline like my pieces. I use this to outline so it's like a clean cut piece and it's helpful. Next up is a piece of scrap paper. You can see this is a very worn piece of scrap paper. It's bright yellow. I mainly use this if I'm using marker, this is a key point. If I'm using a marker marker base, I'll put this under the piece of paper or else it'll bleed through to the next like five pages and then it'll just be like ruined. Well, more like the next one page, but I'm exaggerating. It helps the bleeding a lot. But I just got a new pack of white pens, but if your white pens are running out, if you like scribble, you can see a bunch of scribbles on it. I don't know if that just made it everything unfocused, probably did. The white pen, I like scribble on it to make it like, to help it start running again. You can see there's a lot of like lines where it, the white pen just didn't come out. That's that. Lastly, is my, I'm gonna butcher this name, Stad, Stadler? Stadler? Stad? Stadler? Stadler. I don't know, Stadler. It's S-T-A-E-D-T-L-E-R. Hi, so my camera doesn't work. Just YouTuber things. <laughs> um, so what I was trying to say is that the Stadler pencil sharpener is superior to all other sharpeners and it was actually given to me by my wonderful twinny and I'm deeply appreciative and forever in debt to her and I used to use a stapler pencil sharpener and it was really crappy and the pencils always broke off like the tips and this one it rarely does that more like a five percent versus a eighty percent so highly recommend and the price is right here thanks for listening to my TED talk it's it's midnight and I'm tired Hi, buddy. Oh, so this is my puppy, my puppy named Rexy. She's almost, she's almost four. Rexina is her full name. We call her Rexy. I made her name. Hello, we're back because my camera died, and this is Rexy. I said she was four. She's actually turning three soon. Right? Yes. She's very tired, and she's like a sack of potatoes. And I want to introduce you to her. This is my twinny named Gemma. Hi, guys. And Butch is not here currently because he's attached to mother. Yes. Oh, my God. Look at that. Thanks for tuning in. My camera is back alive. So I'm going to show you a few more products. So first of all, we have Strathmore Sketchbook. So this is just a uh, white paper. This amount of money. It's just great quality and a bunch of pages. And I like the size. This is... Five and a half by eight and a half inches. And then we have this one, which I like even better. It's the toned gray Strathmore sketchbook. A lot easier on colored pencil. Um, like this is an example. It's like easier to use color. This is also five and a half by eight and a half, but I actually recently got a bigger version right here. Um, all on all on Amazon. The smaller version is this amount. The bigger version is this amount. I also use this black sketchbook for like white drawings. Um, it's just use white colored pencil and I also got this on Amazon. It's this amount and it's it's pretty big. I love it for just like high contrast drawings. My last is any type of scotch tape. I use it to outline my drawings if I'm trying to make sure that the sides are super like even and straight. To make sure the sides are super like clean cut. So yeah, any scotch tape works. It doesn't have to be blue or it can be anything. Make sure you kind of like dab it off. Usually I'll take a piece and just kind of put it on my clothes. So I'll take a piece off and then dab it like on my clothes so that it, it'll come off. Don't get it stuck in your hair. <laughs> so that it'll come off easier. Those are the art supplies I use. I highly recommend all of them. They all are at a pretty great price point to be honest. Except for Prisma colors are a little expensive. Yeah, all can be found on Amazon so you don't have to go to store. Thank you for watching. I hope you buy the art supplies. If you do, let me know in the comments. If you watch to this point, comment your favorite food. I feel like my favorite food right now is probably watermelon. It's just so good. It's just so good. Okay, anyway. 
Peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye.